I'm looking at the Minx Steam Bud Sports earphones. They come in this nice case. Quite well presented. Thank you card. And there's the case there. And you can see the earbuds on the back. I'm going to open them up and give them a look over. And then I'm going to charge them up and then test them out. And I shall come back with my review on them. Let's see where they open here. Some little tags. These are uh, got seven hours play time on them. They haven't got a charging case, I don't think. I think the case is just for storage. And they're IPX5 rated, which means uh, they're protected against low pressure water jets from any direction. Instructions. I shall have a good read through them. Just set them up. Seem fairly clear. I don't know what Bluetooth version they're on. I couldn't find out. In here, you've got uh, some spare earbud tips. The charging lead, which is. Oh no, that's. Ah, that's the charging lead for the uh, buds. That's micro USB connection. That's a double charge lead. Buds out. As I say, I shall charge them up and then give them a test out, connect them up. And then try them out, see how they work out. And I shall come back. I'll now charge these up, uh, they just connect up here, there's little rubber stoppers on the back, slot back in once they're charged, I had to read through the manual, so I should be able to start them up, hold the buttons, They should pair with each other. That's it. Let's see if we can find them on the Bluetooth. There they are. Sports buds. They've connected. Let's have a look. Play some music through them. Anything to do. Let me just see if I can hear them. Yeah, it's coming through both earbuds. I shall give them a good test out and then I shall come back with my overall view on them. I've been using these a while now. Uh, they're quite comfortable to wear. The sound is more mid-tone. That's what you get out of the box. Um, of course, you haven't got an app with these, but then they're budget earbuds. I wouldn't expect it. Uh, but pretty good sound from uh, the, they handle bass quite well, they handle the higher tones, and uh, phone call quality is pretty good. Uh, I've uh, phoned my wife a couple of times on them, and it's fairly clear both ends. The controls, yeah, not too bad, fairly sensitive, but not too sensitive that you know you you're brushing them and they're stopping and pausing. Um, yeah, overall, I think they're pretty good, but I shall come back with a full breakdown in my written review.